Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale-by-the-Sea. Another lovely day out there with, uh, what is it, 57 degrees. And this is our January 14th, uh, what is it, uh, Thursday update on Precious Metals. Man, a whole bunch of stuff going on, and I'm going to kind of show you a few things. <laughs> uh, as far as uh, news goes, man, here we go again. There is a lot of news here uh, we're going to discuss here very shortly uh, that's going to have a big effects on uh, gold, silver, and platinum. Uh, so you're going to want to hear this for sure. Uh, and then we've got uh, uh, some news on about uh, not stealing from the government because the government and banks hate competition. Of course, we all know that. And what else we've got going? We've got shortages going. So let's move into the news first here. And let me see where we've got here. Uh, there we go. Initial jobless... <laughs> Jobless. Initial jobless claims soar to highest since August amid Illinois chaos. Uh, despite ongoing government enforced lockdowns and small business closures, analysts expected the number of Americans seeking first time unemployment to remain flat in the first week of 2021. But they were surprised when initial claims exploded high, uh, higher. Uh, well, that's why officials, government officials, uh, that's why they work at the government because they can't work in the private industry because they can't get it right. It's seems that way all the time. And same thing with politicians. That's why they become politicians. Uh, anyway, 965,000 Americans filed for first-time jobless claims in uh, uh, the first week of 2021. That's massive, a massive jump from last week's 784,000 and well above the uh, expectation of 789,000 rise. Um, there's likely some seasonality issues with this data, but we do know some extreme swings in Illinois data, and I'm not going to get into that. All we really need to know is uh, jobless claims are starting to soar again, and I have a feeling that they're going to even get worse. Uh, they'll try to spend the numbers, of course, and make them look better. So what else we got going on? Oh boy, a lot of news today, actually. That Again, good for precious metals, terrible for the economy, terrible for the dollar. Uh, the bailout bin, uh, binge begins. Uh, incoming President uh, Joe Biden just proposed the $10,000 student debt be forgiven for each borrow. Well, who the hell is going to pay for this? Well, I tell you who. Everyone out there that's a producer and works. All you business owners, all you people that pay taxes, you're going to pay for this student debt bailout. Uh, not directly maybe through your taxes, but by the depreciation of your dollar and probably by the increase of your taxes as well. So it's kind of a double screwing here. But anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's just say, hey, listen, this just bodes very bad for the economy and it bodes very bad for the dollar, mostly for the dollar. Uh, so let's read about this just a little bit, but we know it's happening again. We don't need to go into detail. Joe is proposing a $10,000 gift to people that don't want to pay their debts. Uh, uh, why wouldn't they just eliminate all the interest on them and spread the payments out longer instead of just eliminating? You know why? Because they're buying votes, folks. That's how they buy votes. So they're buying all these students' future votes. Oh, look, Joe gave me $10,000 for free. That's why they're doing it. When they could easily, again, make the payments affordable, stretch them out, and remove the interest. But they won't do that because they are buying votes. Uh, again, I won't go into detail about that. Um, but this sounds generous, but it's actually just the opening bid and the negotiation that will end in a very different, much more expensive place. And that will be repeated for many, many other groups of borrowers. So basically, uh, <laughs> here's what you uh, are, are, are going to happen. Once we start bailing out students, we're going to start bailing out all kinds of other people. And again, that's just going to be an ex what we've talked about for seven months uh, uh, with the Joe Biden win. is uh, That will be the acceleration of the decline of the dollar and the acceleration of the end of the fiat dollar. Uh, and uh, the acceleration of a uh, uh, pushing us more into a depression-like uh, era, which we're going to see for sure. Um, you know, I can't argue with this little cartoon. You took out a loan, pay the damn thing back. And again, if you got problems paying it back, uh, the loan, the people that the creditors should be able to, rather than saying, hey, listen, it's all free, the government's going to pay for it. Not really the government, but the taxpayers and the future of the dollar is going to pay for it. Uh, rather than do that, again, just spread those payments out over time. But we're not here to talk about payments. Uh, and again, as I said, uh, in the past. So this all has to do with gold and silver prices in the future. Uh, when the dollar gets trashed, like it's going to get trashed even worse with uh, Joe Biden in now, um, we're going to have big issues. And uh, stocks, yields rise on expectations of Biden's trillions. More money, folks, more money. Biden's, uh, Biden's going to 
maybe go for a two trillion dollar stimulus program, uh, even bigger than most opt you know optimistic expectations. Oof. So they're on a spending spree. But this is nothing we didn't know already. We've talked about this for seven months. If the Democrats and Biden did win, we, we knew that uh, we were going to go to an accelerated period of the decline of the dollar and the decline of the buying power of the dollar and the uh, uh, decline in the economy. Uh, so this was pretty much given. We knew this. I'm not quite sure what the other half of the country was thinking. Uh, however, you know, I think the other half of the country uh, either works for the government or has nice cushy jobs or millionaires or something like that because they obviously don't care about working people and they don't care about the future of the dollar. At least it seems that way. Um, anyways, uh, the greedy Wall Street is uh, uh, licking their chops over the expectation of Biden spending $2 trillion on a stimulus program. <laughs> wow. Well, we, what, what more do we need to really say on that? And where do we go from here? Ah, our next article is uh, don't steal from the government. The government hates competition. Uh, so do central banks. Bankers hate competition as well. And why do I bring this up? Well, if you've been watching my show for more than a couple times, you know I repeat this phrase all the time. Governments and banks hate competition. And what is competition? Well, the competition is cryptocurrencies. And look, and again, I've been expecting this, and I say this over and over, uh, ECB's uh, Lagarde calls for global regulation of reprehensible Bitcoin. The president of the European Central Bank, and, and remember, we're going into a Joe Biden uh, Democratic controlled who loves this lady and would probably put her as Secretary of State or uh, put her in uh, charge of the Treasury if they could. Uh, and they're going to follow her lead. And uh, this is what I've been talking about Bitcoin for a while. Um, I think it should be legal. I don't think anyone should be uh, messing with it at all. I think people that grown adults should be able to do whatever they want to do, providing they harm nobody else. So I think Bitcoin and cryptos should be completely legal markets for people to go in there and make millions or maybe lose millions. You know, again, adults have free choice to do what they want. However, again, banks and and, and governments hate competition. And, and cryptos, appearingly, are a competition. They, they consider a electronic fiat a competition to their, their currency fiat. Uh, so China has already made it illegal, and a lot of other countries have made it illegal. And uh, that's what I've been saying is going to happen in this country and Europe. It, it's not going to be made illegal because they got cryptos to get their foot in the door too much and the big whales are already in it in this country but they, what they will do is they will regulate it heavy and guess who they'll regulate it uh, uh, guess who will write the regulations the big whales that just got into it they'll get their attorneys and they'll get their uh, uh, people that write legislation to get together with government and they'll write the rules to their advantage as well uh, anyways here you go ECB calls for global regulation of Bitcoin and this is what I've been talking about for some while, and it's what a lot of Bitcoin people have been in denial about. Oh, oh no, they're going to, it's going to be an alternative to the dollar. It's going to be the alternative to uh, the uh, uh, European uh, 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 currencies and, and uh, uh, other current. No, it's not, folks. <laughs> they're going to regulate the hell out of it, uh, make it legal or regulate it. So, um, you know, asking for governments to get involved and asking for big companies to get involved in your crypto market was a big mistake. Stake, folks. Uh, once they got their foot in the door, your, your demise was pretty much figured out already. Not really your demise, but they figure out how to suck as much money out of you as they can. And that's what big whales do in markets, and that's what you're going to do in crypto markets. And then they'll regulate the hell out of it. Well, that's my opinion. Let's move along to uh, another thing here that I was going to talk about shortages. And we do have some shortage here, folks. What do we have shortages of? Krugerrands. This is the product that I've been recommending for like seven months now because it's cheaper than Gold Eagles. You know, gold you can save 30 bucks an ounce buying Krugerrands instead of Gold Eagles or more maybe. Uh, and maybe 10 or $15 an ounce uh, off Maple Leafs. However, I just called to put in an order from one of the major distributors uh, for some Krugerrands. And guess what? Uh, they're short, uh, which means they don't have any right now, which is pretty crazy. They're short quite a few. And my understanding is uh, either they said they could not confirm any delivery times or deliveries were way to hell out. Uh, 
And I think that also applies to some other products like maple leaves and some other things as well. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's happening out there, but apparently uh, there's no Krugerrands for sale. Or if there are, there's not a lot left, and it's getting harder to find them directly from distributors. I'll let you know more about this as this goes. But right now, I can't place orders for Krugerrands. I can only sell what I have here in the store. Uh, there are other products, but I suspect with what's going on uh, with uh, uh, the politics in this country and the economic situation in the whole world, uh, that... Uh, I think a lot of gold is being bought right now, folks, and I think we might go into some shortage problems here very shortly, uh, and you may see premiums rise in gold. Uh, so far, there's plenty of silver. There's no silver premiums are still really, really cheap uh, considering, but gold premiums are going to shoot up again, it looks like here pretty soon. And all, not only are they going to shoot up, it seems like the product is going to be, you're going to be waiting for orders. The stuff is not going to be available for immediate delivery. Uh, but I'll let you know more about this. Uh, I just just found about this uh, found out about this late yesterday so when I hear more I'll let you know uh, but meanwhile it seems to be a lot of silver product out there available so uh, again give me a call at my store and I'll let you know what products are available and uh, keep watching the show and I'll let you know uh, how this develops uh, whether we get into a, a product shortage and high premiums again or not and if we do I'll give you my best advice on the best deals out there uh, let's take a look at the dollar index because this is strange. Uh, for me, it's kind of strange. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Because the dollar is up. Uh, and uh, uh, this showing dollar strength. I mean, we were below that 90 line for a little while uh, a couple weeks ago, a week and a half, two weeks ago. And now we're, again, we're showing good dollar strength, which... The pattern that I recognized for, for the last year, almost a year, uh, was that uh, if you took the gold chart and inverted and stuck it on top of the uh, dollar chart, uh, it would fit there perfectly, but not right now. They're almost like gold is kind of going sideways while the dollar is going up. So you know those patterns that I always tell you about that I recognize uh, that usually always uh, work until they don't? <laughs> it's not right now, and it didn't yesterday, and it didn't the day before. Uh, again, because the dollar is up. Uh, which is uh, surprising to me, but, you know, patterns don't always, you know, you can repeat patterns over and over and then you'll see all of a sudden they don't work or uh, they temporarily kind of disappear. And that's what I've got going on right now. That pattern of uh, the dollar being up and gold being down is, is not correct. Gold is down a little bit, but moving sideways and the dollar is up quite a bit. Uh, let's take a look at the spot prices and I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how dollar strength is? And look, gold's up. Uh, silver is kind of decoupled from that uh, dollar thing right there. It's been hanging in that $25 plus range. I don't know what that really means. And silver has completely decoupled from gold and silver. Uh, again, something going on in the platinum market that I'm not aware of. Maybe shortages, uh, maybe uh, some... <clears throat> Uh, you know, you know, uh, man-made shortages or maybe some natural shortages going on. But whatever is happening with platinum, it has decoupled from gold uh, quite a bit uh, because I, I watched gold go down a lot and platinum's kind of shooting back up there again. Uh, but I've always thought platinum was an undervalued metal, and I still do. And I feel the same about silver. Uh, look at silver. Silver's up, uh, again, above that $25 mark uh, with the dollar being strong. And as I've been saying, for a while, platinum and silver were following gold, and they still will ultimately, uh, but they kind of uh, uh, change direction a little bit on their own, uh, which leads, to me, leads me to believe that gold is kind of like stable at this level and these other metals are just kind of moving on there independently on their own. Uh, however, when gold starts to make a major move, so will silver and platinum. Uh, but look at gold right now, up $3, uh, platinum up 15, uh, $13, and silver up $0.15. Cents. Uh, so I'm liking this action right here. And the fact that gold's not moving dramatically is, is kind of strange. I think this is the calm before the storm, kind of like my video right here. Uh, it's very calm right now, but I think pretty soon we're going to get into some heavy waves and uh, uh, these metal prices are, are going to start skyrocketing. Uh, the news is kind of coming in fast and uh, they're just spending money like crazy folks. Anyways, that's about it. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. I was going to tell you that Kruger Hens are, have been the best product out there and the cheapest product to buy, but right now they're not. So I've got some uh, uh, investigation i got to do this morning to find out the best products to get you folks. So give me a call at 954-493-8811, and uh, I'll find out what I can for you. And as far as silver, I still have plenty of silver in stock, although... Uh, I haven't. I have it in stock. I haven't gone out to try to replace it yet. The same thing could be happening with silver as well. I don't know. I'll let you know that as well pretty soon. Anyway, call me anytime between nine, uh, uh, ten, and four Mondays through Fridays, and nine five four four nine three eight eight one one. 
and uh, happy to answer any questions you have, give you spot prices, and let you know what product costs are. Uh, this is Brian Kuzmar, and if anything kind of really crazy happens at the end of the day uh, or during the day with prices, I'll come back and do a second report. If not, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, meanwhile, have a great day and talk to you soon.